welcome all i dr gauri shah once again would like to take you all through a knowledge journey of another interesting topic menu planning we all do menu planning in our day to day life we plan meals we plan breakfast we plan events we plan menus for the wedding but for the commercial quantity food production menu planning is considered as backbone an extremely important topic for a good revenue generation on behalf of aissms college of hotel management and catering technology let me explain you menu planning important for quantity but before we learn what is menu planning and why it is important for revenue generation let's see a video why planning is important let's see the topics which we are going to cover in this chapter first one is to understand the definition of menu planning to know why it is important to have a good menu planning for a good revenue generation to understand principles of menu planning and to know the factors influencing menu planning as we move on i all the principles and factors in detail let's understand the definition The menu reflects the complete era of needs of the consumer base within the parameters of the functional environment and the financial constraints which means the menu is a set of preparations which is offered to a consumer who has a fixed budget and a fixed requirement in simple words the success of catering operation depends to a large extent on the way the menus are planned and designed Menus are the backbone of any catering operation. A good menu should ensure good profits. To make the best or most effective use of menus in advertising and selling is called as menu merchandising. Merchandising means the presentation of a product to the appropriate market at the right time in an organized and attractive displayed manner. Merchandising is a very vast topic. before we learn the characteristics of merchandising let's understand menu planning which is important before we understand merchandising let's see the principles of menu planning variety in preparations colors textures taste flavors and courses nutritional balance religious preferences 
seasonal and regional availability and the last is choices color color makes the food most attractive at the same time good use of vibrant and loud shades of color is very important to make the food attractive which is possible only by using fresh ingredients and colorful ingredients these shades of reds greens oranges are naturally available depending on what type of ingredient we are using different fruits and vegetables of red different fruits and vegetables of greens when we combine them together we create different shades at the same time these different shades makes the menu texture texture plays very important role in food appreciation and guest psychology for example if it's raining heavily all of us would like to eat crunchy pakoras with a hot warm tea or for a soothing romantic evening we would prefer something smooth and creamy so the crispy crunchy brittle smooth spongy soft velvety are the textures which are usually liked by the consumers and it is definitely important to offer as many as possible different textures in one flavors as a chef i create multiple innovative preparations which looks attractive at the same time it has a good texture though but as we all know everything has only five flavors that sour sweet spicy salty and bitter so we have to play only within these five flavors so it is extremely important to balance these flavors and create an magical impression on the tongue and it is definitely an difficult job to combine different ingredients with different characteristics to create a good flavor most of the time spicy goes well with salty sweet goes well with sour and bitter goes well with pungent flavors next seasonal availability revenue is very important and managing food cost is an extremely difficult task it is only possible if we control the food cost to earn a good revenue for that it is extremely important to make good variations using local grown ingredients which are available easily at low rate in abundant quantity and best quality if we use onion to make nice smooth gravy at the same time we use onion to make crunchy pakoras at the same time we combine onion with cheese and make nice contigui stuffing where we reduce the food cost we create varieties we create variations and onion is a local grown ingredient so we definitely achieve good revenue as i am explaining to all of you seasonal availabilities and regional availabilities also plays an important role in reducing storage transportation cost and the perishability claw cost of the ingredients move on health and nutrition we all have witnessed the pandemic covid situation and we all have understood the importance of immunity and healthy nutritionally balanced food initially health and nutrition was not of prime importance in menu planning but nowadays the world is changing towards the immunity booster food and with this context nutritionally balanced food is become an absolutely prime importance in last food choices we have to make sure that we offer enough choices to the consumers in the menu of various age groups of various backgrounds regions religions likes dislikes and allergies so it is always preferred to offer one or two commonly preferred ingredients or foods in the menu like it is always preferred to offer a tomato soup with a nice japanese soup or a chinese soup 
it is always preferred to have hot gulab jamuns with vanilla ice cream with other sorts of desserts then it becomes easier to offer enough and equal choices to all sorts of consumers in the uh, attending guests as you all see in the picture why do you think it has a jigsaw puzzle and a balancing act on an elephant because putting so many principles and criteria together to make a nice attractive menu which looks special sounds great to every consumer with their limited budget at the same time that menu fits in the food cost and generates a good profit it is not a simple job to put so many criteria together and create different menu every time to have a repeated consumer let's see the factors affecting menu planning budget purpose of the function type of menu type of service and style of service infrastructure facilities available for preparation number of packs to be catered age number of preparations to be offered likes and dislikes and last regional budget budget is the foremost important criteria which decides the length of the menu and the richness and the spread of the menu every event has a pre decided budget and every organization has a pre decided range of food cost within which the menu needs to be fitted which looks attractive sounds special and at the same time gives good profit this converts into a repeated business and a repeated consumer purpose of the event type of event gives key guidelines for the type of menu and type of service to be offered also it helps to decide how many preparations to be offered how many number of packs can be catered in a given space what facilities are required to prepare this menu for example if it's a birthday party it requires a snacky menu depend on the budget the length of the snacky menu can be decided but depend on number of packs it has to be decided whether it can be a packed food or a table service or a buffet if it's a corporate function it requires an a la carte menu at the same time it requires a lot of appetizers to be served during the meeting or during the gathering along with beverages so type of event though has lot of requirements from the menu and the, the menu can be fixed the menu can be cyclic the menu can be limited choices the menu can be of a vast choices the menu can be take away the menu can be of only snacks or appetizer the menu can be of finger food so these are the various varieties of menus which we can offer the menu can be special the menu can be regional the menu can be theme based authentic fusion but it all depends what is the budget of the consumer what type of function we are going to cater to and how many preparations we need to offer to fit into the budget to how many people type of service it can be a thali service it can be a buffet service it can be a take away service it can be a mix service of silver service and buffet it can be a table service this all depends of how many people we are catering to what space we have available how many skilled service staff we have available and what's the budget of the infrastructure facilities available for the preparation we can wish to prepare a lot of prepare food in uh, preparations we can wish to serve a lot of unique and different food items provided we have enough infrastructure facilities we have appropriate skilled labor and we have enough space to make that age groups age group is extremely important to understand the standard portion size to be served and the total consumption of the food in the given menu which reduces the food wastage at the same time it has a direct impact on the food revenue number of preparations offered within the menu 
every course needs to have few choices offered it depends whether we are offering two or three within the course on the budget of the guest at the same time it is also depend on type of menu we are offering and type of service we are as you all see in the picture it is of prime importance to understand the religious restrictions every devotee here follows the do's and don'ts mentioned in their religion journals about the food they consume very strictly the foods which are mentioned in the journal and they do not consume the food which is prohibited in the journal for example muslims will never eat a jhatka meat they will always prefer a halal meat hindus will never eat beef Jains will never eat underground vegetables. At the same time, Buddhists will never eat non-veg. Similarly, it is very important to know what is the target consumer. What is the religion of the maximum eating crowd? And then it is easier to plan the menu considering these prohibitions. Last but not the least. likes dislikes and allergies of the consumer we need to keep in mind the common allergies like gluten nuts dairy seafood eggs at the same time we need to keep in mind the common likes and dislikes like spinach bitter gourd is not liked by majority people cheese cream sugar is liked by majority people then it becomes easier to offer even choices within the courses for all sorts of consumers coming for the event which helps to keep every consumer happy nobody leaves hungry and we get a repeated business at the end thank you all for patiently listening to the principles of menu planning and factors affecting menu planning i will see you all soon to teach you in depth the other characteristics of menu planning to understand what is menu merchandising which helps in planning a menu for any restaurant for any event please attempt the quiz on this topic given as a link in description below the video specially aissm student for any query you can contact me on the given email shaha.d.gauri@gmail.com See you soon with another interesting topic till then bye bye